Hi Cancer, it's Elle here um, to do your August 2019 general reading. So it's a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Cancer who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Okay Cancer, so... Um, off, so I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. Um, some of you are really going through it. Like, going through it emotionally. Some of you just trying to stay focused about your money, trying to work. I'm here and dig yourself out of a hole. We've all been there. Um... Some of you were dealing with somebody who you gave like a second, third chance to, and then they did the same thing over again. So that kind of frustrated you. Um, some of you, you, like, you have some business venture idea that you're embarking on, but you feel stuck. You feel like you need advice, mentorship, if you will. Um, oh, some of you are are planning to reach out to somebody that you used to know, <laughs> um, but but you right now you feel like it's not the right time because you're trying to do something or get out of something or get yourself to a place where you feel comfortable even doing that, even reaching out to them. So let's see what's going on. I'm going to pull a card for the past, for the, the cancer. What's going on for the cancer in the past? Okay. And what's going on for the cancer in the present? Ooh, okay, that flipped out. Okay, okay. And what's going on for the cancer in the near future? Near future cancer. What do you have to tell the cancer for the near future? Okay, bottom of the deck, the five of ours. So, and this could be in anything. Career and finance, love and romance. There's like a lack mentality. There, there You may even be experiencing lack of financially um, or just lack of vitality, vitality and energy effort. Maybe into a commitment, a marriage, a longstanding commitment, a job with a you know in a larger sense of corporation um you no longer feel like you want to be a part of it or you already feel like you're, you're being pushed out of it um also somebody could be draining you financially someone who they may have like childish behavior or, or, or this is you, Cancer, draining you, um, or putting you in a yeah, putting you in a place where you feel like there's lack. There's drama associated here, also. There's somebody else involved in the home life. Like there's somebody else that lives with you and your significant other or, or, or vice versa or whatever. I don't know. But whatever it is, you just don't feel good about it. Some of you are homeless or could be homeless or you just feel very a lot of lack mentality, lack of wanting to push things forward, lack of confidence here. Something shifted the energy. Let's see. In the past, the page of earth, like I said, you gave somebody, you accepted the apology, you, accept, you accepted them doing just a little bit, and you, and you said, okay, you know, we can, we can get the ball back rolling. <laughs> but presently, you're the eight of water, the eight of cups. You you emotionally feel like 
this position that you're in will never yield you the Ten of Cups. That you'll never be happy here or you were never happy here. Therefore, you feel as if you need to abandon ship. You need to abandon this position. Whatever it may be. For some of you, this is like you you abandoning. Some of you are abandoning the position you're in because there was, or someone did this to you, or you're doing this to someone else. Um, you guys merged, like your finances. You merged your life. You lived together, shared resources shared finances but there was always an air of mystery about maybe what the other person was doing with their money or vice versa um someone like i said with this five of earth here somebody you feel as if with all the sharedness there's like depletion somebody is depleting you or has depleted you or is this a, a depleting situation it's just like i'm doing all of the sharing where's your part You took out loan, you took out, you pulled from investment with this person, I don't, I'm going to pull a card on that one, uh, okay, okay, uh, so in the near future, okay, so here you are, the chariot. It looks like so this reading just now it reads as if okay whatever position I was in my stability is elsewhere I accepted the opportunity to try to reconnect and rebuild but now I'm at a place of changing my mind and I'm walking away I'm abandoning ship because I now need to regain control. The seven, the chariot is about control. This is about a journey. It's about progression. This has been a journey, maybe in this situation. It could be romantic. The seven speak about marriage and contract, relationships, your interpersonal style. You may like I said, you may have been doing all the giving, all the sharing of the resources, um, of the love. If, it, if it's not monetary um, someone did the same thing again and now it's like okay I know that this is not going to work and now the cancer is at a place of I, I must regain control and I have to understand the part that I played in this understand their part marry the two and move forward right because if you stay stuck in, oh, well, they did me wrong, and you just stay stuck in that mindset, then that's where you are. You never move forward. But if you say, okay, you did me wrong, and I know what part I played on this. I'm just going to move these two horses on down the road. Because arguing, fussing, fighting over what? It, it yields me nothing. And, I'm, and some of you feel like you're in a situation where there is lack of control. You may be at a place of pruning, looking back at what you have or what, yeah, what you have established thus far and saying, I should be further along in this connection, this marriage, this, um, this job than I am, and I'm not. And for some of you, um, that's what you're doing and you may just be choosing to, to move on, to move ahead. And you're going to be very, um, you're going to persevere in the position that you're taking. All right, so on this journey and uh, with this person or um, in your career life, you are kind of stepping back and... Um, now pre-planning like I said some of you have a s secret plans of 
walking away from a connection and possibly because there's no there's lack of faith of confidence in this moving forward in any positive manner so you have secret plans of going elsewhere or doing something else or, or speaking with someone else or making plans with someone else uh, some of near future or, or with something else this could be career finance also let's see what this is about so we'll pull one card for each in the past we had the page of earth okay tower so page of earth in the tower definitely someone wanting to reconnect reestablish there was a, a challenge conflict that came to a head in this in a relationship but history should have been the answer to what you did next when that challenge came about has this happened before like I said before I started shuffling the cards there is someone who who did something over they've done something like this over and over again and, and you accepted them back and they they just did it again the tower speaks of okay destruction disaster calamity something being exposed with that brings about destruction and disaster calamity something falling apart um but it also asks you to look at how you deal with this challenge, with this conflict, will have a historical basis. This person's done this before. They have a history of whatever it is they did. So you should have, history would tell you, I, this is over, I need to bow out. It looks like you may be getting there or you are there with this situation but in the past something happened um, a, a recent past apology came about but presently you're in the eight of water the eight of cups just did you you're done everyone else may be saying why are you done you should give it another try you should but only you know why you're done you know why you're done because this isn't the first time this isn't the first time you felt like this. What's the Eight of Water for the Cancer? And this could be someone from this way by you. The Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are trying to go back to. Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are concerned about the money too. Like I said, the Eights govern shared resources, loans, investments, inheritance, um, assets. Things of those natures, the other person's money. You could be the other person or you could be concerned about the other person's money. You like I said, there is a situation where some of for some of you, and it's not everybody, either you cancer or someone you're dealing with, there's a depletion. Like they're not doing their part. They're not adding to to the relationship monetarily. There's no addition. There's only subtraction with this person. And you're walking away. Or you're not giving to this situation monetarily anymore. Because you feel like. Some of you feel like I used to be the king of pentacles. Where money was just there. It was effortless. I was getting money. And I had money. So it, it was nothing. But now I have to be the queen of pentacles who is concerned with money who is having to now go out and you know cultivate more make more money someone took you from maybe the king status to queen not, not to say that you're completely broke or put out in any in any sense but something is put is there i pull one more card for that eight of cups Six of Cups, yeah. 
this is someone who you could they could be younger than you or vice versa this is someone who you were always doing the giving there's someone who now you are questioning the systems that you have put in place in regards to this person you allow this person to always have do like this to you and, and you just kept giving or you allow for this person to take this person may have children or they were childlike or you want or they want children or you're having children or something to do with children some of you are thinking about someone from the past or return or wanting to return to someone from the past who is like the queen of pentacles a working mom a working mom or father that's this it's a woman's energy but you could be a man um Presently, you're at a place of changing your mind in regards to who you merged with, who you merged life and finance with, because it's not yielding you any happiness, any success. So now you may be wanting to return to someone who you feel like there is a sense of usefulness with, because right now there is a sense of uselessness with someone. The sixes talk about the sense of usefulness. And, and the Queen of Pentacles is definitely useful. Um, she is the working mom. You know, this is someone who, if if they have children, they'll go to work. You know, they, if if they don't have children, they definitely will work. This is not a person who is afraid of work. She's very methodical. She's strategic. Um, she's logical. You know, she's rational. She's down to earth. She could is very good with money. She could, she could work in finance. To someone from your past, Cancer or he could be a he also, um, or you just want to get back to that place, and you're really examining the past um, and and what is useful now and and what you need to cut out and we need to walk away from. Okay, in the near future we have the Chariot, the Seven card, so someone is trying spiritual. Awareness is what I'm hearing. A spiritual gift. Someone is trying to regain control or maintain control. Someone is concerned now just about self. They were selfless in a situation that didn't yield them exactly what they, they needed in their life. Alright, what's the chariot here? Two cards seem to come out. Five of Swords and a Five of Wands. Then, hmm, Hermit at the bottom of the deck. Okay, somebody, somebody gets it. Somebody gets it. So before, I was like, okay, you can't, this is somebody who's just trying to move forward. They're no longer concerned about, oh, this person did me wrong and they did this and they did that and blah blah blah. The cancer is now saying, okay, I know what part I played in it too. I just want to move forward. Because this is what you have to deal with when you don't. When you don't take on that mindset of, I just have to move forward. When you take on the mindset of, let's continue the conversation. It is not even a conversation. It's an outright argument. It's an outright smackdown drag out. It's a, you did me wrong. I did you wrong. No one is winning here. It's pettiness, it's argument. This could be someone you're married to, someone you're in a com we have three of the four or fives out. Now, this is someone who you're committed to, you're in a commitment with. There could have been a love affair that, that sparked all of this. There's childishness, childlike behavior, there's drama. There was a sense of romance here. But you can't build on romance, and maybe that's why things fell apart in the past. You have to have some some real stability to build a real lasting relationship. You could be dealing with air sign, fire sign. Everybody's here. Um, like I said, this is a situation where the cancer now, in the near future, is moving forward because something came cropped back up from the past somebody did the same 
the same crap over again. Someone feels that if they can keep you talking, then they have you. If they can just keep you responding. The advice here is don't respond. Silence is the best response. Because, I mean, you keep responding. This is what it is. I mean, it's not like you're going to respond and get to some real resolution. There's also a cancer who feels like they missed an opportunity. They chose wrongly. There's reversal here. Like they chose something, right? Or they chose a specific way or person. And it just all went to shit. Now there's inner conflict about how to move forward. Or who to move forward with. What is all of this conflict? I think the cancer finally gets it now in separation from it says that the cancer is looking for answers outside of them you know speaking to this person about it talking to that but this says cancer you, you you're looking for answers outside of you but you know the answer the answer is from within you you already know once again the tower history history shows you because the the hermit is about examining your experience that light sorry examining your experience and then moving forward examining past experience and then move making a move what did i do in the past when they did the same old okay well i'm not going to do that what did i do in the past when they said the same old stuff to me oh i, I took them back oh no Let's see what this situation is about. No, I want it. Okay, so we're going to go over to the website. In the near future, we have the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands. But somebody's now... Now that you're taking this new stance to in regards to some marriage, some contractual agreement, like you're really putting yourself first, somebody is not having it, somebody is not happy, someone is not trying to let go, they don't like this new you, um, that's what it looks like also, yep, six of wands because you, you're putting yourself first. You're making the choice to promote yourself, to rise above, to move away from. Life is about choices. It looks like you're trying to make the right choice for you. This could also be somebody gossiping about you, drama with friends or with family. There is someone inserting themselves in like I said there's somebody else here there's interference but it's like no 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 I want to do what I need to do for me somebody's trying to tell you what you need to do for the greater good let's see what's the advice for the cancer moving forward Whoa. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're going to talk about this over at the website, but let's go ahead and jump into our um, love spread. See what's going on for cancer with love. Because this is just general cancer. It just looks like, I'll just say this, life is about choices. 
okay? Life is about the choices we make. The chances we take. It's a lot of choices. Okay. What can you tell Cancer for love? Love. One card for the past. Okay. Temperance. All right. In the past. Hmm. It looks like this spread could be talking about finances and career and Cancer trying to get something together. Finances together, but also love here. Um, but now we're on love. I only say that because we have the temperance card. It talks about patience. It talks about all long standing. It talks about the even kill talks about you know when to be feminine when to be masculine marrying the two perfectly also talks about someone trying to compromise and salvage salvage relationships salvage whatever and it looks like in the past with the page of pentacle and the tower yeah it looks like in the past the cancer um try to salvage a relationship recreate something that was breaking down or broke down or something was found out with the temperance card uh the cancer was really trying to make it work trying to salvage the relationship um in the present the cancer is now saying okay um I'm concerned about my finances. I'm concerned about, you know, this entire relationship. I'm doing all of the sharing. There might be a lack of usefulness with another person or this is how somebody feels about you, Cancer. Yeah, four ones. Definitely a relationship, a, a, a home. Like there's somebody in the home. You feel like this person is useless. There might be somebody else, uh, an in-law, friend, family that lives in the home. They're also causing discord, dissension. Like they're just causing disruption. They're intervening, interfering, and maybe home life and in the foundation maybe there are cracks in the foundation also here uh this talks about yeah the home children motherly energy uh family yeah roots someone someone's out someone's outworn their stay in the near future. The world. I think you get it <clears throat> now. It says that something is completely shifting. There's been like a tectonic break, breach in how you think and it's like a okay, I'm done with this. I've completely outgrown the situation and matured beyond it so now I have to get out of it I can no longer go round about in this this could be love this could be career finance but the cancer is now at a place where it's like oh, okay I have to choose myself because I can no longer self-sacrifice like I did in the past for something that's not even going to yield me what I want I'm changing my mind. Eight of cups. I'm walking away. I'm abandoning ship here. And it may be that you. It may be cause to celebrate. Some of you are like. Now I can date who I want. I can go where I want. I can do what I want. I can hang out with friends. I can reconnect with people. It's all about re, 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 re. Reconcile. Reconnect. Re this. Recreate. I can just do whatever I want to do here um, yeah 
yeah you have like a different way of thinking now with this three of cups at the bottom of the deck it's just like some of you are going to ask for help in regards to maybe your siblings or you're going to reconnect with siblings some of you are just going to be more sociable just go out you, you think differently now with the world card here and the three of cups um, you're thinking it's different um, maybe some social upbringing you've, you've come away from that and you say I want to think completely different about how people view me social status or whatnot I don't care if people are saying I need to stay or I need to go I don't care I want to do what I need to do what's best for me with the six of wands here let's see what we get for you cancer with you choosing yourself make a choice for yourself in regards to love it's like you know something is just over you learn lesson here and it might be just a lesson in maturity really what happens okay okay all right cancer with you oh wow with you um making a choice to go down a different path abandoning ship here it looks like some of you want to go toward something or someone else It looks good. We're going to go over to the website and see what all of this is about. We're definitely going to um, talk about the choices. The choices that you you um, have to make in regards to uh, life as it is right now. Okay. Um, let's see. What are the butterfly oracle cards saying for the cancer? Cancer, this is just really about choices. You know, all these six cards, no twos. No. Definitely about choices. Wow, heavenly signs. Aquarius got that. For the other person. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aquarius. Grief work. Wow. The other person got grief work too. You may be grieving the loss of. It's like you know that something is over with the Eight of Cups. You also may be missing someone with the Six of Cups, thinking of them. You have fond memory of. Windfall nice of good luck money energy sobriety I think more so for you cancer and it, it could be chemical um, imbalance or chemical you know altering yourself and your state of mind chemically but this also could be like sobriety of the mind I think you you're thinking differently now you see things differently the scales have been removed from your eyes therefore you see and you can process information uh, more abundantly um, you know that you're stronger than you're stronger than you know you can get through this Okay, Cancer. I said that somebody you want to go towards somebody. Like you have somebody in mind that you want to talk to. There's, there's no talking here. 
There's no real communication. Be assertive. Yep. That be assertive. Ask for help from others. I just said that. I said you're going to ask. Peaceful resolution. Yeah, because it's like you're trying to resolve something. Recovery. And yes, so maybe some of you are dealing with some. Okay. I just heard opportunity at the bottom of the deck. Recovery is not only... For some of you who are dealing with chemical uh, substance abuse or misuse or whatnot, um, but it's also recovery of, of money and energy and time with that windfall. For some of you, you've been in such a really downtrodden state and lack of confidence and, and self-confidence and confidence in, in a position that you were just staying in. Now you're going, you're going to get all that is due to you. You will recover all that was lost. You do have a yes answer here at the website. The protocol is that we clarify yes answers. Let's see. What is this yes answer? What is this yes answer for the cancer? What's this yes answer? Queen of Cups. Yes. Safe to love. It's, um, it's safe to ask for help. Yes, it is. Um, remain stable to not take on anyone else's energy. The, the Empress. Yes, someone else does love you. The Page of Swords, yeah. Or if you love somebody else, you got to tell them. You can't be stuck in your mind, in your head about it. Or you can't feel stuck. Wow, man, there are so many things. And yes, someone else knows that you love someone else. And that you're in love with someone else. Wow. Alright, so we're going to go over to the website and clarify. See what this is all about. Okay, Cancer. Um, all in all, I mean, it isn't that bad. It's just more so Cancer making the correct choices in life. I think Cancer's finally gotten to a place of maturity. Come out of the party come out of the superficiality of relationship of love of career of finance and get into some real foundational um, right choices that put the cancer first and really asserting themselves in regards to life and, and coexisting with someone else what you will accept and what you won't accept okay all right thank you cancer meet me over on the other side the link is below um, it's always $2.25 to get the extended reading. Thank you to those who purchased. Many blessings to all of you. Take care.